Uh, what was it like growing up in South? What was your upbringing like? You came Dangerous. Over, but you came over at six. Run us through it. Just, just a little brief. It was, it was dangerous. Whereabouts in South? So when I first came over, I was in Kennington. Right. Um, from Kennington, I moved to Turnham. Mm. From Turnham, I then moved to... Turnham is next to Brockley, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I then moved back to Kennington. Yeah. From Kennington, I moved to Brockley. Uh, and then from Brockley, I moved to Hiver Green. And then obviously now I am where I am, which I ain't gonna really disclose, you know what I'm saying? But from South. So you said it was rough? Yeah. How come? Um, for a number of reasons in general. Um, obviously, when you first come over to the country, uh, accent isn't the best. Understanding of what people are saying isn't the best. Um, and just getting into the culture is completely different. Like you go from doing things like playing, like we used to get like, you see, you see how you had, had the rolls of tissue? Like you get one of the rolls of tissue you might put on the floor and put a tennis ball on top and then you got rounded, you see what I'm saying? Or we might get like a bag of marbles and that kind of stuff and we're flicking or whatever. Or when we jump on the TV, there's only like a few channels and you know, you can only see cartoons at a certain time and they're American cartoons and all that kind of stuff. Um, so when you come over to the UK and everything is just completely different. I remember trying pizza for the first time. What age? I think I, 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 was, I was six. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure I was six when I came over. I was six. And I was like, what a blood clot. My mum my ordered it. It came into the house, it came in a box. And the way that the house was, it's like the, the kitchen was here, the living room was here, it's like a small corridor, front door's there, you go to the side, that's the bedroom, and then right there, there's the, um, there's the bathroom, yeah? I used to sleep in the living room with like a little fold out there. But like there was a big, beautiful window, yeah? Like you open up the window, and because the, where, where like the, the house was positioned, the sun really shined through. But I remember my mom bought the pizza, she put the pizza down, and I was like, what the hell is this? She opened up the box and I was like, Jesus Christ, what's going on it? And I didn't, you see the, like something as simplistic as, you see the little um, thing that separates the top from the cheese? Yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> that so, triangle. I was just like, yo, what is this? <laughs> and like be, being able to like go into like a shop and just seeing like, yo, there's, there's a mad, like it's, it's almost, it's, it's just like a sugar rush or a kid in a candy store. I was seeing all the selection of sweets. Yeah, yeah, like, like I was just completely hit with so many different things okay. at the same time that it was a bit of a shock. Um, I didn't really know how to navigate it at first. Mm. Again, the accent, you're being introduced to so many different things. Um, you've come over from a completely different environment. Um, every, everything, everything's just, com just completely different. Yeah. But it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. You said it was uh, quite rough though, wasn't it? Yeah. As in like, was that in school or just, just around the ends? Like around your area? Uh, oh, both, man. So... Anything you remember seeing? Like... <laughs> fights or something, or altercations? Obviously, I went to, I went to Crofton. Um, I saw a lot of things in Crofton. Before Crofton became Prendergast, I saw a lot of things. Like, I'm talking year seven. You ain't been there two days yet. How are the year 11s beating up the, seven, the, the, the year 7s? And we're talking massive brawl. The first time I saw nunchucks off a TV screen was in year 7. Maybe my second month in. Shortly after that, I saw a gun. The man them were smoking round the corner from some certain blocks. And the teachers were just watching it like... Well, like it was just normal. Like it was just normal. You said two months later, you saw what a gun. Yeah. Where? In the school. Oh, someone's brought it in? Yeah. Damn. So what happened? <laughs> what, do you remember the day? So. This is what, it year was eight? Like, 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 just, just literally starting school. Um, they, it's very difficult for me to remember how the blocks were, but they were basically some like standalone blocks, like away from the main school, yeah? And like around the corner from these blocks is where the kids used to smoke, whatever it is that they're doing, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. Around that block is where people would show people weapons. So for example, that's the same place that I saw the nunchucks. Oh, okay. But I saw like a pistol in that area as well. Um, in year nine, someone brought in a gun in their bag and 
showed it to us while we was in while we was in PE. So was that his gun? Yeah, no, no, no. So he, it was, it was, it would have been his like. I guess it was like his brother's gun or something like that or something like that. I'm not too sure whatever it is, but yeah. like this is this is what we're this is what we're around. Do you see what I'm saying? Like again, obviously when you're in Jamaica, you see that stuff in general. Um, but when you come into the UK and you don't see that stuff for a certain amount of time and then you get to a certain location and now all of a sudden you're seeing that stuff again, it's a little bit mad. Yeah. 